first thing first, okay, my name is Muhammad Shatan Bin Isa and today I will be presenting with, for my uh, proposed design uh, project with um, Bungalow House and D-Face and the first project is uh, Bungalow House and the building area is uh, 100 feet by 100 and equivalent to one equivalent to 10,000 square feet which is uh, 927.203 square meters and then the cost estimation is equal to 2 million or below and then the second project is B phase which is a uh, building area for this project is 22 feet by 35 feet equivalent to 71.42 square meter and then the cost estimation um, equivalent to 200,000 ringgit Malaysia and then go to my concept my concept actually is a eco house and then what is eco house? eco house is an eco house is an environmentally low impact home design and built using materials and technology that reduces its carbon footprint and lower its energy needs and then this diagram to show about uh, the eco house and then eco house is um, the system which is we want to preserve our our own mother nature earth uh, from damage and then how to achieve eco house and then first um, as we know in in this view, in on that uh, we have so many um, things to can be reused, which is uh, in this concept I uh, use three R, which is reduce, reuse, and recycle. We can reduce the use of electricity and uh, recycle the sources, which is uh, from sun and water, and reuse, reuse. <laughs> okay, by the to achieve this, uh, I take biotermity approach and then what is biotermity? Biotermity is uh, concerned with creation of uh, climate and living organism. Building design that take into account climate and environmental conditions to help achieve optimal thermal comfort inside. It deals with design and architectural elements avoiding complete dependence on the mechanical system which are regarded as support. A good example of this is using natural ventilation of or mixed mode ventilation. And in my design, I will uh, apply um, passive solar and uh, passive uh, ventilation, which is uh, use less of uh, mechanical mechanical product. And then from as we know in um, the first we want to tackle is uh, from sun direction and wind direction and from this uh, came up with building orientation as stated in biotermetic uh, buildings orientation should be in 20 second and 22 degree and 30 second uh, to in our climate which is hot and humid climate uh, to create a small air refreshing sun because um, in hot and humid climate we need less uh, heat and then we will reduce the, the, the exposed area by placing the, the building we can area facing wind direction as we know wind direction came from uh, southwest and then at this area we will provide bigger area facing wind direction and then natural shading uh, initially will be created will be created from um, vegetation uh, vegetation uh, shading which is reduce direct sun penetration to the building and reduce the heat uh, towards building and creating shaded area um, to minimize sun exposed area and this is the example of uh, natural sun shading by um, our nature tree and then natural ventilation as I said before this is the orientation of the building and uh, from 
this area naturally ventilated by nature so uh, we need less um, mechanical ventilation and provide bigger openings to create profit ventilation on southwest and northeast area and provide enough natural daylighting into internal spaces so my point here is uh, to create a house that need less of electricity to reduce consumption and to the shaded area to do this thing we are providing deeper overhang for bigger shaded area and cool air and for thermal comfort um, in the building perimeter we provide a pressing water element to cool down hot air and then penetrate to the building and create cross ventilation and expel the hot air uh, on the top and maintain the temperature humidity for human comfort. As we know, uh, as a human being, we need the humid and uh, comfort, comfort, comfort tem temperature, which is if we have too humid, we will easily sweat and if too hot, we will feel um, Okay, um, next is um, for my design, I will provide a pitch roof. It will be used to harvesting energy from the sun by solar photovoltaic. And as we know, in uh, hot and humid climate in, in Malaysia, we receive um, high value of rain, and then by providing high pitch roof, we can get there all the water for uh, rainwater harvesting and they can be used for our WC to reduce the use of um, normal water and this the example my, from my idea um, eco house and then actually this is my um, case study with um, stand up um, ID house which is uh, the lowest uh, produce of uh, carbon and then most of the building recycle its own energy from sun and green water. So this is all my presentation for now for my idea and concept. Thank you.